Hi everyone, it's Mrs Denham here with your very first maths video for year three and four. As you can see, we're busy here at home. Me and Wilson are keeping very, very busy. And I've got some really fun maths here for you to be able to do. So buckle in, here we go. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at place value. And in particular, we're going to be looking at recognising the place value of each digit in a four digit number. And some of you might be able to start looking at five digit numbers. And then we're also going to have a go at ordering and comparing numbers. Let's start with a little game. So my two boys love to play Uno. Who else enjoys Uno? What I've asked them to do is select three cards each. And using those three cards, they're then going to make a three digit number. Whichever one of them has the largest number gets to keep all the cards. Right, let's see how they got on. So, first up, Rocco drew three cards to make 698. Rex drew three cards to make 884. Yes, I won! Rex got to keep the cards. Next up, Rex made 200 with his cards and Rocco made 383. I won this time! Finally, they drew four cards each. Rocco made 9,348. And Rex made 2,575. So, who won this time? I did. Rocco did. Next up, we've got a Lego game. You all know how much I love Lego, so I thought I'd try and incorporate it into my lesson. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some bricks down onto this target. Those that have got eight studs becomes either 8,000, 800, 80 or eight, depending on whether it lands in the thousands, hundreds, tens or ones. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's have a go. So as you can see, there is one stud in the thousands, six studs in the hundreds, four studs in the tens and eight studs in the ones. The number I have made is 1,648. Have a go yourself this time. Eight tens plus six tens makes 14 tens, which is the same as saying 140. Pause the video so you can work it out. If we add them all up, we get 400 plus 140 plus one, which is 541. Our last go gave us this. What number is it? 8,146. Did you get it correct? You can have a go at both of these games with your family at home. OK, now I'm sure you've all seen a place value grid like this before. At the top here we can see we've got thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. If I remove here, we can see that we have got four ones. If I remove the next column, I've got two tens and four ones, and that makes 24. Let's remove the next number. Right, eight hundreds, two tens and four ones. What does that make? 824, you're right. Okay, let's remove the last part. Okay, seven thousands, eight hundreds, two tens, and four ones makes 7,824. Okay, so I mentioned at the beginning that some of you might be able to move on to five digit numbers. This time, we've got an extra column. Now the TTH stands for tens of thousands. So let's remove some of these smiley faces to see what number I have created. Okay, five ones makes five. Nine tens and five ones makes 95. One hundred, nine tens and five ones makes 195. Brilliant. Three thousands, one hundred, nine tens and five ones makes 3,195. Right, now time for the big number. A six. So altogether we have made the number 63,195. Quite often you'll see a comma separating the thousands off. So it make it nice and clear that it was 63,000 
195. I want you to have a little go yourselves now. Have a little look at each of these questions. Each number has got one of the digits underlined. Can you see in number one how the second eight has been underlined? What I would like you to do is to write down the value of each of the underlined digits. So for number one, the answer would be 80. Pause the video now and have a go yourself. Right, how did you get on? Did you manage to find all these answers? So it's really important that you understand how to be able to read numbers as words as well as digits. So I've written four numbers up here and I'd like you to convert the words into digits. So the first one is 7,296. Can you write that number down? How about the next one? 3,457. Have a go. Now this one gets slightly harder. 5,308. Can you write that one down? Be careful of the place value of each of your digits. And finally, the big number, 22,727. Have a go at writing that one down too. Let's see how you got on. Did you get all of these ones? Now remember, for the third one I said it was slightly harder and you have to think carefully about the place value of each of your digits. 5,308. There are no tens at all, so we need to put a zero in the place there as a placeholder to show that there are no tens. Let's move on to comparing numbers. This is where we say whether a number is greater than, less than or equal to another number. I imagine in your class you've all seen these symbols before. The greater than symbol, less than symbol and the equals symbol. Equals, remember, means the same as same as. Let me show you the first two numbers. We've got 462 and 452. Which number is biggest? Right, it's 462. And we know that because we can look at the place value of each of these digits. Four hundreds, six tens, two ones. And over here, four hundreds, five tens and two ones. Now the only difference in these two numbers are the tens. Six tens, five tens. So six tens is the greater number. And we can show that by using the greater than symbol. Let's move on to the next two numbers. 652 and 654. Right, which number is greater? Did you get it? It's 654. This time, the hundreds are the same. The tens are also the same. So we need to look at the ones. Two ones, four ones. Right, so 654 is the greater number. Let's move our symbol down. Remember, we know which way the symbol goes because we can remember our greedy crocodiles. They like to eat the bigger number. So the bigger the symbol needs to be pointing towards the bigger number. Right, let's look at the last two numbers. Okay, I've made this one a little bit tricky. 200 plus 30 plus 2. Now this number's been partitioned. So we can put them all together to make 232. What's about on the other side? 100 plus 130 plus 2. Right, well if we put those all together we would also get 232. So the symbol we need is an equal symbol because they are the same number. Okay, it's your turn. Have a little look at these numbers here. Which number is greater? Which number is smaller? Or are they the same? Have a go at writing in the correct symbol now. Pause the video so it gives you a bit of time to have a go. So how did you get on? Did you get them all correct?
OK, last up, we're going to have a go at ordering some numbers. So you can see here I've got some numbers on some shapes. What is the best way to start ordering the numbers? Where would you look first? Would you look at the ones, the tens, the hundreds or the thousands column? Now I would start looking at the thousands column first because that's how you're going to know which number is the biggest and which one is the smallest. Now when we're not told how we want to order them, we always go in ascending order. That means going from the smallest number to the biggest number. So having a look at these six numbers here, which one is the smallest? Right, one of these shapes has only got five thousands. Can you see it? It's the triangle. So our first number is going to be 5,646. Now I need to have a look for the next number. But I can see that four of the shapes start with 6,000. So now I need to move across to the hundreds column. Two of these numbers have got five hundreds and two of them have got six hundreds. So I'm going to look at the two shapes here with five hundreds. I'm going to move across now to the next column, the tens. The oval has got five tens, whereas the square has only got three tens. So this square is the smaller of the two, 6,534. And I know that my oval must come next. OK, let's have a look then at my octagon and my parallelogram. Both of them start with 6,000. Both of them have 600s. But let's look at those tens. The octagon has zero tens and the parallelogram has four tens. So my octagon is the next number followed by the parallelogram. Finally, it would be the pentagon. 7,506 because it's got the most thousands. OK, so now it's your turn. You're going to have a go at ordering some numbers. Pause the screen so it gives you a chance to have a go. OK, how did you get on? Did you get them all in the correct order? Hopefully some of these challenged you because when we've got the same digits but in a different order, it does need us to have a little think about what is the bigger number. Did you spot the error in question three? 8,228 is smaller than 8,802. They're the wrong way round. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed the video today. We've had a look at recognising the place value of each digit in a four digit number. We've also ordered and compared numbers too. Right, well done everybody, you've worked really, really hard today. Look out on Wednesday for Mrs Lucas's next maths video and on Friday, Mrs Casey will be bringing you one too. So I'll see you again next week. Keep working hard. Take care, bye.